Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to simulate and investigate the diode characteristics in popular circuit simulators such as LTSPICE, PSPICE, and PySPICE. Recall that a diode is constructed by joining a P-type semiconductor material with an N-type semiconductor material. The plot of the diode current ID versus the voltage VD is called the diode current voltage characteristics. The typical current voltage characteristics for a silicon diode is shown here. When the diode is forward biased or on, it allows current to flow. Practical diodes have a maximum power or equivalently a maximum current rating I max. This value is given in the diode data sheet. When the diode is reverse bias or off, the diode current is the reverse saturation current IS which is typically in nanoamp or picoamp range. Diodes are normally operated in the on and off regions. Zener diode is operated in the reverse breakdown region. In this region, the voltage across the Zener diode is minus Vz and the Zener current is between a minimum and a maximum value. These values are also specified in the Zener diode data sheet. Temperature can have a marked effect on the diode characteristics. When the diode is on, an increase in the temperature shifts the curve to the left. This shift is approximately at a rate of 2.5 millivolt per centigrade degree increase in temperature for silicon diodes. When the diode is off, an increase in temperature shifts the curve down. The reverse saturation current approximately doubles for every 10 degree C increase in temperature. For a Zener diode, Increase in temperature can increase or decrease the breakdown voltage depending upon the Zener voltage. In introductory electronics textbooks, the famous Shockley equation is used to mathematically approximate the diode characteristics. This equation was first published in 1949. It relates the diode current to the diode voltage as shown here, where IS is the reverse saturation current, N is the emission coefficient typically between 1 to 2, VT is the thermal voltage which has a value of around 26 millivolts at a nominal temperature of 20 C degree centigrade. Please note that the Shockley equation is very sensitive to the value of the emission coefficient n. Also, it is valid for on and off regions only. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this equation in more detail. This is the circuit to simulate diode characteristics in LTSPICE. For the purpose of efficient simulation, we connect a DC voltage source directly across a diode. By varying the voltage source magnitude, we can vary the voltage across the diode. Here we are using a 1N4148 diode, which is a popular signal diode. We can run DC sweeps as shown here to simulate the on and off characteristics. Note that LTSPICE uses a nominal temperature of 27 degrees C by default. We can use an additional SPICE directive as shown here to simulate the characteristics at a desired list of temperatures. 
when we run this circuit, we can plot the current through the diode and this generates the diode characteristics. The 1N4148 diode has a maximum current rating of 300 milliamp. Hence, we change the y-axis limit to 300 milliamp and modify the, the y-ticks accordingly. This then gives us the proper diode characteristics for the on region. To plot the diode characteristics in the off region, we modify the DC sweep value as shown here and then re-simulate. And here we obtain the diode characteristics in the off region. We can see that the reverse saturation current is around 10.4 nanoamps. This same approach works in PSPICE as well. This is the circuit set up in PSPICE for simulating the diode characteristics. We can go to Analysis, Setup and enable DC Sweep. By setting an appropriate DC Sweep, we can simulate the characteristics in the on or the off region. The settings shown here are for the off region. When we simulate, we obtain the diode characteristics in the off region. We can see that in this case, the reverse saturation current is around 5 nanoamps, which is half that obtained in LT Spice. This shows that we must exercise care when comparing results across different simulators. Although we are using the same nominal part name 1N4148, even small differences in the internal SPICE model parameters for the same part name between the different simulators can lead to a difference in the diode characteristics. This slide shows the diode SPICE model parameters in PySPICE which uses ng-spice as the underlying parameter. Note that over 40 parameters make up the complete diode spice model. These parameters can be divided into four main categories. Junction DC parameters, junction capacitance parameters, noise parameters, and temperature parameters. When specifying a diode model, it is reasonable to leave the temperature, noise, and junction capacitance parameters at their default values. In the junction DC parameters, the three important parameters are IS, which is the saturation current, N, which is the emission coefficient, and BV, which corresponds to the reverse breakdown voltage. In PySpice, diode model can be specified as shown here using the inbuilt diode component. We can specify popular signal diodes such as 914 and 4148 or popular rectifier diodes such as 4002. Note that PySpice comes with an inbuilt 4148 diode model, which is slightly different from the more widely used LT Spice 4148 model. NG Spice uses a modified and more complicated version of the Shockley equation to simulate the diode. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these models and equations uh, in more detail. PySpice comes with an inbuilt example for investigating diode characteristics. 
This example can be accessed here online. It generates nice looking diode characteristics plots. However, this example has some issues. The simulation circuit includes a resistor which is not really needed and if chosen improperly would impact the results. We can see from the plots that the Shockley equation result does not match the simulated values at the different temperatures for the on region. Finally, for plotting the characteristics on the same plot, a number of Python programming hacks and arbitrary scaling um, is utilized to generate the final figures. These are not so easy to modify if we change the basic diode model. This shows the correct way to simulate the diode characteristics in PySpice. We consider the simpler circuit and translate that into a netlist using descriptive node labeling. We specify the temperature at which to simulate the characteristics. We use the slice command to run the DC sweep. We also specify the appropriate diode model. We can also plot the Shockley equation and we use the actual values of the reverse saturation current and the emission coefficient for better accuracy in calculating the theoretical result. Finally, we can plot and compare the theory and simulation. This is the complete Python code to simulate the diode characteristics for the ON region. We have standard declarations at the top, followed by the circuit netlist. We calculate the Shockley equation using the actual diode model parameters. And finally, we have the plotting and formatting commands. When we run this code, we obtain the diode characteristics we can see that the theory and simulation match reasonably well. This is a slightly differently formatted version of the same code to plot the diode characteristics in the off region. When we run the code, we obtain the diode characteristics. We can see that in this case, the reverse saturation current is around 10.4 nanoamp, which agrees very well with the earlier value from LT Spice, since we are using the exact same model. This is the complete Python code to plot the Zener diode characteristics. Some popular Zener diode models are defined here. In this example, we are using the 4.7 volt Zener, which has a maximum IZM current of 75 milliamps. When we run this code, we obtain the Zener diode characteristics, where we can see the reverse breakdown of and on regions. All these codes are available in the video description or the video comments section below. In summary, in this video, we have seen how di diode is modeled using Shockley equation and SPICE parameters, and how to simulate the diode characteristics in LTSPICE, PSPICE, and PySPICE. As always, I hope that this video is helpful to your learning. Thank you for watching the video and subscribing to this channel.